What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Black, which was released on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox by Electronic Arts and Criterion Games. And the plot of the game is that um, Sergeant First Class Jack Keller, who is a member of the CIA Black Ops Unit, pretty much was arrested for some reason. The reason is not given, though, but he's being interrogated about the events of what happened in Russia concerning a gun smuggling operation in this group called the Seventh Wave, you know what I'm saying? And pretty much he pretty much tell the interior what happened from an overall standpoint with this particular group. And when you start the game there's um the, the main menu which has pretty much um start new game slash continue along with options and um Operator profile. Now, uh, with when you start a new game, of course you can you know, name the uh, profile. Then you pick a difficulty, either easy, normal, hard, or black ops slash um, expert and stuff like that. One thing about the expert uh, difficulty is that in order to play, you have to beat black on um, on the, on the hard difficulty and stuff. Plus, um, regardless of what uh, difficulty you pick, all of them have the primary um, objectives that you have to complete and stuff like that. But if you were to um, play it on normal or hard or um, Black Ops difficulty and stuff, there will be some uh, secondary objectives that you can complete and stuff like that. And the... Um, Secondary objectives pretty much consist of things like um, blackmail, intel, recon, armament, destruct, destruct, destruction, and uh, suppressor if they're available. Now the suppressors is, are the things that um, that are used on specific weapons like pistols or SMGs and you know, stuff like that. Now. As far as uh, weapon classes, you have the usual weapon classes that you find in a lot of the first person shooters, you know, pistols, SMGs, assault rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, and with this one, it, it don't have, it has some grenade launchers and rocket launchers and stuff like that. Now, um, the, the environment has a lot of destructible stuff in it, like um, oil drums, mines, and um, deserted cars and stuff like that. And this reminds me of one of the one of the objectives within the game. I think it's in the third or fourth mission where you have to go through a minefield, and the best way to go through that uh, particular uh, minefield is just, just to shoot at the mines. You know what I'm saying? Which cause uh, a chain reaction if the if a particular group, if a particular group of mines are like really close enough, you know what I'm saying. Another thing that I like about it is that um, if enemies are um, close enough to the mines while the um, mines are going off, they die immediately. So it, the same thing would happen to you if you're too, if you're way too close, you know what I'm saying. Now, um, pretty much, um, like once you. You have to shoot a specific, of course you have to shoot, shoot a specific uh, mine to shoot a, uh, uh, to set off the chain reaction like I mentioned, you know what I'm saying, but that, that part is pretty cool, you know. Now, with the options, it has um, this controller setup, um, sound setup, picture setup, and profile. With the controller setup, it, it typically have, um, you, you can um, pretty much turn off the, the um, toggle crouch, crouch, crouch. <laughs> trying to say it right but anyway we have the toggle crouch um uh, inverts um look and vibration you, that you can turn on or off along with choosing the default or customized stick configuration and button configuration and stuff like that with the sound setup you can pretty much adjust the volume for the music um and the, and the sound effects along with picking the um sequential or shuffle for the play mode in terms of the soundtrack and stuff now um you could you could pretty much change the brightness with with the um screen setup and stuff like that you, you know and with the profile you can um there's a um, load new 
um, save and auto save. With auto save, you just you simply you can you have the option of turning that on or off. With low, you you go to um, three um, profile slides. You you can load where you where um, load one of the profiles and stuff. And if there's anything that you have to say to one of those um, profile slides, you go to save and stuff like that. Now the operator profile pretty much shows one of the three um, profiles that you're using, and it essentially shows you your, your stats and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It'll show things like your current rank. Um, it shows like a complete game completion percentage. It shows the game time, number of headshots that you did. You know, pretty much. A weapon of choice. You can range from a, from say the shotgun, or it could be like K47, one of that some cheese, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Then there's the enemy count uh, and how many uh, bullets that you fire and stuff like that. Now, um, the graphics and design for Black are pretty good, and they have some pretty pretty good um, color palettes to it. You know what I'm saying? Now the um, Controls and gameplay for Black are pretty good, and I do like the fact that uh, there's a lot of destructible uh, uh, objects in it, and which are a nice touch in my honest opinion. And to me, the the soundtrack is pretty good, and it's fit the game pretty nicely. And um, the sound effects are, are really good in terms of the like the gunfire and the explosions and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a uh, like to me the equivalent of a say uh, of a movie die hard with bruce willis if that makes sense you know what i'm saying in terms of explosions and gunfire and stuff like that and the story to me is good you know what i'm saying but to me it took a back seat to um the guns and stuff like that because when i remember seeing the um promos and, and stuff like that as far as the um trailers and stuff they were putting a lot of emphasis on the guns you know what i'm saying and and they made no mention of uh, uh who the protagonist is and that you know what i'm saying being jack keller and stuff like that um, I guess I don't know why uh, E8 went in that direction as far as the trailer, but in any event, the story is good, you know what I'm saying. But, and to be quite honest, uh, Black is a pretty good game, and I would recommend it to anybody who is a fan of, of first-person shooters and stuff like that, especially if they own a PlayStation 2 and Xbox, you know what I'm saying. As far as the score, I definitely give Black a, a 8 out of 10 because it is pre a pretty good game. I just wish that it had a, a multiplayer to it, you know what I'm saying? But in, but in any event, it's still a good game with or without a um, multiplayer mode, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, you can sound off in the comment section about Black, whether you like it or hate it, you know what I'm saying? Whether you prefer it on the Xbox or uh, playstation 2 and stuff and if you like this video don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button this is your boy big metro fan 12 signing off